Samsung just released its latest flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And this year we get the S Pen inside like we did with previous Note versions. And so let's go over some of the best tips and tricks that you need to know when using your S Pen with your new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So by now you've probably realized that the S Pen is here at the bottom. And when you take it out, you're presented with air commands. It's this little menu here that pops up that gives you a bunch of things that you can do, like create a note, view all notes, you can smart select, which is a very powerful tool, by the way, do not sleep on smart select. We'll actually talk more about that here in a minute. Uh, there's screen write, live messages, AR doodle, translate, and pen up. And as you can see here, there's also a little shortcut to add more shortcuts for air command. And you wanna, the first thing that we're gonna wanna talk about is how to customize this little menu here so that maybe you don't need AR doodle or pen up and you wanna add more things or take some things away. Let's show you how to do that. So what you could do is either hit this settings cog here and it will take you right into your S Pen menu in the settings menu. And then from here, you're gonna wanna go down to shortcuts Go ahead and tap on shortcuts here. And yeah, you'll see all the ones that are actually in that menu that we just talked about are on the right hand side. And then you can go ahead and start to remove things. So I don't ever use AR Doodle, so I'm gonna remove that. I don't use live messages and I don't really use, actually we'll just remove those two for right now. And then over here you can see some of the S Pen features that are uh, recommended you maybe try out like you know, we just remove live messages, but that's over there. You can do a magnifying glass, which is super helpful. Um, you can glance, you can write on your calendar, or you can just choose any application that you might want to quickly launch into. And so this could be useful if there's an app, maybe there's a different note taking app that you like to launch into rather than the standard Samsung one, you can go ahead and add it. So just for this example, we're gonna go ahead and add Spotify, let's just say that's what we want. So from now on, whenever we launch the air command menu, you can see here there is Spotify. And again, if you don't wanna take some things away, but maybe you want to add, there is an add option right here, and it takes you to that list. It's actually the fastest way to get into, um, you know, your customization for your shortcuts, but if you have the full amount there, that add button may not be there. So I just wanted to show you both ways to get into it. So the next thing you might wanna do is create a GIF. And you can do that very easily with your S Pen. So let's just say here we open up YouTube and we have a video here. Um, just any video will do, it doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and click on your shortcuts and then click on Smart Select. And then at the bottom, you'll see an option for creating a GIF. And I understand that some people might call it a GIF. I call it a GIF. Go ahead and leave comments down below if I'm saying it wrong, but I'm going with GIF. Anyways, you're gonna create a GIF here. You tap on it, it actually gives you a little box. You move that box up where you want it to record. We'll put it right there. And then you can also adjust whether it records in high quality or standard quality. So then when you're ready to go, just go ahead and start the video and then hit record. And it's going to record anything inside of that little box for 15 seconds to create a GIF. You can stop it at any time. I'm gonna stop it now. And as you can see here, we have a little GIF. And if you wanted to take things one step further, there's even a menu down here where you can download, share, or even write on this uh, GIF if you really want to. Um, but yeah, that's the easiest way to create a GIF using the Smart Select tool. It does a great job. This next tip is more of a precautionary tip rather than some kind of neat trick that the S Pen can do. Um, because if you lose your S Pen, well then you really can't do any tricks or features or anything at all. Um, so you wanna make sure that if you were to leave your S Pen behind somewhere that you'll get that warning notification. And it should be on by default, but sometimes it might not be. So just go ahead and make sure you'll go into the settings app here, go all the way down to advanced features, and then under S Pen, scroll down to where you see warn if S Pen is left behind. Go ahead and toggle that on so that you don't get um, this S Pen misplaced somewhere. Maybe you're on the bus or on a flight and you're using it and you happen to leave it. It'll actually give you a warning when you walk away with your screen off. So this next feature is going to focus on translating um, another language to the language that you speak. So for me, it's English. Um, and if you're in another country and you happen to see a picture, a sign, or maybe a menu out at a restaurant that might be fully in Spanish, for example, like this menu that I have here, you can translate to, uh, that to English pretty quickly. So you'll wanna bring up your air commands, and then here you can select translate, 
and then you'll want to pick the language. So I already have it set to Spanish to English, which is what I'm looking at. And then you'll just hover over the word. And as you can see here, it will translate that to English, no problem. And you can even listen to Google Translate speak it for you so that if you want to hear how to pronounce it, you can do so super easily. And yeah, this works with any picture that you might take or any picture you download off the internet. Um, it will automatically translate that text for you with that translate feature. If you're taking a lot of notes at work, and let's just say you want that in a digital format, you can actually select your handwriting and convert it to text pretty simply. So the easiest way to do this is when you write some text, let's just say subscribe to the channel. Now my handwriting is pretty terrible, so it might not work well, but if you have good handwriting, it should be pretty flawless. You'll wanna come down here to this little selection tool, and then you'll want to circle, if you do it correctly, you'll want to circle the text, and then it will select that for you, and then hit that little uh, menu icon here and then hit convert to text and it actually did a pretty good job and it's formatted the way you write it So just keep that in mind But it was able to figure out that I wrote subscribe to the channel and then I'll hit convert and boom It is converted into plain text for you This next feature is super handy if you take a lot of screenshots and you want to annotate them You can do all of that action with just your S Pen So if I bring up my S Pen menu, let's say I want to recommend this album. I want to show the person the album, some of the songs, and I want to circle the songs that I personally enjoy when I send this off to them. So I can go ahead and select the Air Commands menu and then hit Screen Write. It will take a screenshot automatically and then I can just start writing. Now, I have my color set to something that you can't really tell, so let's change that. And then obviously there, these are some great songs. Uh, I highly recommend you check this album out by a band called Mom Jeans, but if I wanted to send this out or I have a picture of a document and I wanna annotate that real quick before I send it off, you can do that all with just your S Pen and you don't need any third-party apps or anything whatsoever. I mentioned this earlier, but there's also a magnification method available using your S Pen and you'll actually want to add that to your um, air commands if that's something that you think you're gonna use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna hit add, like we did in step one, and then I'm going to pick the S Pen feature magnify. And so now I have a little magnifying glass available to zoom in on whatever it is that I might be looking at. And so if I'm looking at a document or you know, there's some really small text that I can't see, I can actually use my S Pen as a magnifying glass, which is really cool. Up here at the top, you can adjust between 150% all the way up to 300%. Um, and so I can really start to see some of the you know, smaller details of my playlist, or if I wanna zoom in on a picture or something, um, you can do that pretty easily all using your S Pen. Just make sure you add that magnification shortcut to your Air Commands menu. And last but not least, we should really just touch on Smart Select as a whole, because like I said, it is incredibly handy, especially if you're in a pinch and you need to cut some things out of an image or you know do any of the things that I showed you earlier. It's important to know where that's at. And of course, you probably guessed it, it all lives under your Air Commands menu. So if I open that up again, I go to Smart Select, I can bring this up pretty much anywhere. And so I wanted to show you, you have your square or rectangle Smart Selection mode, then you kind of have the freehand one, a circle one, uh, the way we made a GIF earlier, or you can pin this to screen and select this portion of the screen. And so it pins whatever screenshot you kind of took um, to your phone the entire time. So as you can see here, I have this little home screen weather widget pinned to whatever app I go into. And so it could be useful if you really need it. But one of the more useful things about Smart Select is being able to cut something out of a picture and you could put it into another picture if you really want to, um, or if you just really wanna isolate something in an image, you can do that pretty quickly. It's not gonna be Photoshop level quality, but it's something that you can do. And so when you bring up Smart Select here, the tool at the bottom, I would just select this freehand one so that I can kind of draw what it is quickly and easily that I want to cut out of the image. 
And then obviously once you do that, you can clean things up a little bit. You can pin it, you can bring it to another image. You can save it that way. Um, you probably wanna take your time and do a better job of this, but it's an option if you want to do that. And these are just some of the S Pen tips and tricks that I think you really need to know, especially if you're relatively new to having a um, Samsung device that features the S Pen. And now that it's built into the S22 Ultra, you might as well use it because it could be a useful tool. Let me know in the comment section down below some more advanced tips that you might know. And maybe I'll make another um, compilation video of those tips that you recommend to me. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.